Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been charged by the Hennepin County Attorney's Office with murder and with manslaughter. Questions? Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair Book. You know what time it is. Talk to you guys about a Derek Chauvin um, case um, where he's been recently charged with murder and manslaughter. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, do me a favour, do yourself a favour, like, share and subscribe to the channel, okay? And do me another favour, for those of your attorneys, you ain't got the minerals, baby, you ain't got the minerals, alright? Let's get into the video, talking about Derek Chavon's case. Obviously, if you guys have been following the George Floyd case, you know that the, the officer in question is Derek Chavon, who apparently has not in his house at the moment, he's somewhere else, apparently. Anyway, so, um, the recent, obviously... Prosecutors obviously taking um, uh, taking up a step by obviously presenting charges now against him. All right, and it's taken four days to do so. Now that may seem like a quick turnaround, um, but as uh, the questioning came in for this uh, gentleman who was on the team, um, you'll notice that they asked the question about why wasn't uh, the policeman picked up straight away? Because in other cases, the person's picked up straight away. So four days. Is a little bit long now. The reason why someone, the reason why four days might be a little bit long, is because I believe that when it comes to cases like where the policeman is involved, there's a caution that's involved. Now, the, the mayor said it in another video where he said there's too much, almost like there's too much red tape bureaucracy when it comes to this particular kind of thing. And, and protocol that is literally baked into the walls, that is baked into the mortar, that says that you shouldn't act quickly, that you shouldn't. And the reason being is because they're always looking for a way out. They're always thinking that if one of them gets taken down, it means the whole system has to get taken down. We're not saying that. What we're saying is that we need, we need a change. We need an effective change. What we're saying is we need an effective change. We need, we need, some, we need something to break, right? And that is that the, the breaking is simply just convict the people that need convicting. You can't uphold a system where the people who are upholding the system are also corrupt. Then the system doesn't work. Do you understand? Because how can you, how can you ensue fair justice? That means it's an us and them. You know what I mean? So anyway, it took four days to get to that point, but they've now charged him. But charging again don't mean nothing until we actually see what happens in the courtroom. All right, cool. So I just want to break down some of the things that the guy actually said. Um, one of the questions that was brought to him was, um, it said, obviously, any other person would have been charged early and held on to otherwise. And his answer was kind of political, right? Um, he said, obviously, they, he, he, he used what we call positive, um, positive affirmations in there, or I should say positive... Uh, confirmations instead of going negative. So he said, obviously, look, we've charged this case as quickly as it had to be. It had to be investigated and it had to be brought forward. Now, here's the thing. With this much evidence of different angles of camera, this didn't need to be investigated any further than it really needed to, right? We know there's a due process. Don't get twisted. But when other criminals are involved, they have far less and things get taken away straight away. So that's what we're trying to say, that there's an undue... Um, privilege to police officers that are involved normally, right? We have never charged a case in that kind of time frame, uh, and we can only charge a case when we have sufficient admissible evidence. But correct me if I'm wrong, you understand? Down below the comment section. All right. And, um, you know, I, I, I believe what he was really saying was that one of two things, we got to do it this way so that there's no chance of the person getting off on a technicality, which does happen oftentimes with police officers when they're involved in the situation, or we're doing this as a, as a reason to, uh, or we're doing this to give the police officer a technicality to get him off. You understand? One or two things, either way. Now, he tried to bless it off in another video talking about, you know, the black, Ameri the black uh, African, African American um, community, they, they know him, they know how he's integral. I'm like, blood, does anybody know this man? Because I don't know him. Uh, I'm not African American though, so that's what I'm asking African Americans. Do you know this guy? Because I don't know him. Like, has he done work for the African American community? I don't know. But the way he tried to position it in another video is as if he's friends with African American community. But hey ho. Um, he goes on to say um, that, uh, talking about how things have changed since yesterday. And so a reporter asks the question, what changed since yesterday that gave you the impetus to now bring these charges? Because what, what, what happened in 24 hours that showed further proof that this needed, to be, this needed to go to murder and manslaughter? What was the further proof? You know, um, obviously, look, he, can't, he obviously can't tell us every evidence that was brought to the sun, do you know what I mean? Um, due to the, obviously the case and stuff. But that is a very good question. What changed in 24 hours? Yesterday afternoon, we didn't have all that we needed. We have now found it, and we felt a responsibility is... 
like I said, leading to the first question, which is that, was there deliberation? Was there consultation? Was there a, a talk from the unhigh to those who obviously at his level? You know what I'm saying? In terms of what they're going to do. Because you have to understand this, like, this is more than just police and us and black and white. This is control. For those who are in power, this is control. And everything has to form a narrative. So if we're gonna if we're gonna put somebody um, on the on the on the slaughter pad, we have to make sure this person has to take a fall. We have to make sure that the police force don't get slandered or tarnished. We have to make it look like it's just him if we're gonna let him take the fall. Oftentimes the police officers get off on a technicality and get off on it was excessive force and suspended or whatever. How are you getting suspended when you kill someone and you know what I'm saying, it was unnecessary? You know what I mean? Like putting your knee on someone's neck and then having a video camera of it for five to six to seven minutes. Yeah, and different angles from the back, from the front, from the side. We can see everything. We see the pre-video as well. He didn't need to be there. He didn't need to be thrown to the floor. But they did it anyway, right? What other evidence do you need? We're just saying, isn't it? Let me know differently. Comment down below. Um, someone said, obviously, I've seen, I've seen charges, um, cases. I've seen them charge cases quicker than this. Um, and he says, obviously, look, the normal procedures that they have to normally wait several months even um and he said obviously the proof of showing there was over exertion of force is what obviously causes the 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 case to take so long to to get to obviously charging and the thing is we have to ask the question is what other evidence can you bring to the table to show there was excessive force that would that wasn't already on the video do you understand like when your knees on the back of someone's neck is that excessive force yes or no let's not dilly dally Bally bally around the thing. When your knee is on the back of someone's neck, and you have three other officers also on, um, you know, putting a knee on the back of him, what more do you need to say there's excessive force? What more? You need a coroner's report that he stopped. That he stopped breathing. By, by the time he got to the, to the to the medics, he already stopped breathing. Is that what you need? We we, we, already, we already knew that. We didn't need to wait for that. That that was information already outlaid. So what is it that you're experiencing that's new? That's causing you to, to now say, we're going to take it on board. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And then, obviously, he spoke about uh, another case, Mohammed Noor. He's also a Somalian... I, I researched it. He was a Somalian peace officer who shot a white woman. And, and the story was written that he was in fear. He got startled um, and he shot a white woman. He got convicted. And this is the guy that's coming to boast about the fact he con they, that his state got this police officer convicted. Hold on. He's a, he's, 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 he's a browning. Hold on. The victim's a white thing. It's not the same. He's a browning. She's a white thing. It's not the same. So when you're talking about, obviously, I had, you know, we had to make sure you had all, every X, Y, and Z. I'm looking at like, yeah, but you took, you took credit on a case where the person was brown and the woman was white. And we really know how this is. It's a race thing. So when you're talking about that, you can't use that as an example as how great your department is that you've really got experience of dealing with these things because you don't. Because the, the officer wasn't white. The officer was brown. And we know how that goes. You understand? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just listened to him and I was just like, oh. Uh, and I heard him in another video as well. And I was just like, hmm, hmm. We'll see what happens, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below what you thought about the video um, as well. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys.